food and bev printing and packaging industries face a lot of challenges from label synchronization to detection of film tears and splices it's a very critical application since it directly affects the productivity and quality of the process generally fork sensors have been an ideal solution for these applications but with so many different types of labels with changing colors and even transparent labels nowadays it becomes very challenging hi my name is tj singh and i'm the sick product specialist at enm in southern california in this video i want to introduce you to the new sick ufs fork sensor which is the sick ultrasonic fork sensor that ideally solves all different label detection applications everything from label synchronization to tears splice detection it is a single solution for everything it does not matter whether the color of the label changes or if it's a transparent label this single sensor can solve all the applications by itself the ufs in spite of the small compact size packs a bunch of features firstly it's really compact with the flank height of just 5.5 meter which means you can put it directly at the label dispensers to avoid any kind of flutter from the web also it's ultrasonic again it does not matter whether it's different colors or transparent it makes distinction between them very reliably also on the top you have a single teach in button which can be used for different modes since this has 1.2 point and a dynamic mode depending on your application you can use the right one you will also notice a bright graph led here which is great since it gives you a visual feedback how the quality of the teach was done for the sensor and lastly it has iolink which means you get all your diagnostic data back to your controllers let's do a quick demo of the sensor on an actual label and show you how easy this is to set up so as you can see this is the sensor i have powered it up and we have a teach button on the top with a bright led for diagnostics so what happens is you generally have a label with a substrate and with three modes we have one point mode in which you can directly teach the substrate when the actual label is not accessible but ideally you would have the entire label so you'll have the ability to move it so you would either use two point or dynamic teaching for that all you have to do is take the label in between the fork and you will see this uh, orange led pop up which is basically showing you the output so once you hold the teaching for more than three seconds and you really and, and move it between the label and the substrate a couple of time and it dynamically learns what the required threshold is and just release the button and what you would notice it it automatically learns it and you can see every time on the i'm on the substrate the label actually then it gives a high output and when i'm on just the background substrate it's turning off and it very reliably sees it no matter where you go And that's pretty much it. And these LEDs are just showing you, showing you that the quality of teach was really good. And that's how you teach the sensor.